Okay, good morning. So, this is the sample program for overloading method. So, I chose computation for the area of square and triangle. Iraran ko muna po yung program. So, select shape. I will choose square. Then, mag enable yung ating components. So, enter the measurement of the side. Formula po ni square is side times side or S raised to 2. For the area. So, compute. So, dapat 16. Let's say the side is 2. So, 2 times 2, 4. Say, triangle. So, we have to enter the value for the base and the height. So, let's say 3, 4. Formula for triangle is base times height divided by 2. Okay? So, you have 6. Or, palitan po natin. 4 times 4, compute. So, you have 8. Okay? So, that's the output of the program sample for overloading method. Okay. Okay, now, dito po tayo sa program for the sample of overloading method. Since we're done with the basics, so hindi ko na po isa-isahin. I'll go directly to what components I use I dun sa sample program and also yun pong overloading. Okay. So, if you can see here, I declared Boolean variables to tag anong area ang i-compute ko. So, I have square and triangle. Tag square, tag triangle. Then, I have command button compute. So, syempre, dito po mangyayari yung ating computation for the area. So, I have here declaration of my integer variable. Okay? So, ito yung gamit nung tag ko kanina. If my tag square is true, meaning I chose square to compute, and then I will enter, okay, this is for the input, for the measurement one, and then this is my call to method, okay, my method name is method my area, okay, then my second area to compute is triangle, so again, nakatag po ako, meaning if I select triangle, so that's true. Ito naman, si values to be given for the measurement 1 and 2. That's for the base and height of our triangle. And then this is, again, my call, call to method. Tatawagin si method. Again, my method is method my area. Okay? Overloading method. I use one method name for the computation of Dalawang area, area ni square and area ni triangle. So, property po ni overloading method, we have one method name. Okay? Kaya lang, magkakaiba ng parameter. Okay? So, for my first method, ang parameter ko, isa lang, or argument ko, isang measurement. Same method name, para kay triangle, but then, magkaiba ng Argument, kasi kay triangle, kailangan ko ng dalawang value. So, meron akong dalawang argument. Okay? So, sa property ni overloading method, we have the same method name, pero malalaman niya, alin yung kailangan niyang computein pag tinawag natin siya, depende dun sa argument. Okay? So, kaya po magkaiba ng argument. So, pwede rin naman na magkaiba yan ng data type. Let's say, yung isang method, ang ginamit mong data type ay double. Yung isang method, ang ginamit mo ay int. Ay, nagkataon lang po dito sa akin. Na-declare ko parehas int. Okay, but then, the logic is the same. Okay? So, yun po yung aking call to method. Then, eto na ngayon yung declaration ng aking method. So, public void method my area. Argument ko is int measure 1 kasi I only need one value for the computation of the area of square. Okay? So, formula niya is S raised to 2. So, that's equivalent to S times S. Kaya sa akin po is measure 1 times measure 1. And then, simply this is to display the output. Okay? Second method ko, yun. So, you have two arguments. It's for the base and the height, measure 1 and measure 2. So, formula kasi ni triangle is base times height divided by 2. Okay? So, kaya yun po yung formula. And then, again, to display the output to my text area. Okay? So, yun 
po talaga yung major program natin. So, I have two methods, overloaded, same method name, natural, magkaiba po ng function, and you have different arguments. Okay? So, dito sa aking command button, isa lang actually ang tinatawag niyang method name when I call yung method my area. Nalalaman niya kung alin sa method na yon ang dapat niyang i-execute based dun sa nakadeclare natin na arguments or parameters. Okay? So, yun po. Ganun lang po kadali. Okay? Now, add-ons ko lang, kung makita niyo yung sample output na iba-iba, so that's simply on the form load, set visible false mo lahat para walang laman kasi nga that's also one way to guide the user ano bang kanyang gagawin. So, wag muna natin ipakita yung hindi kailangan. BTN square, kasi button yung pinili ko, kaya meron akong tag. Ito po yun. Okay? So, nung kinlik ko si button square, tinag ko na ang pinili ko ay si square true. Itatag ko ngayon ng false triangle para hindi magka-problema sa computation. Okay? Kaya nakatag false si triangle kapag nakatag true si square. Okay? The rest is simply you enable visible true or false. Okay? And then, ito lang yung aking pag-text change ng label para magtugma sa kung anong dapat na caption ng label. Okay? So, that happens inside the command button ng pinili ko. Kung sino man pong aking pinili. Okay? And then, syempre kay triangle, tag square ko is false, ang true ay si triangle. Okay? Kaya alam nung aking BTN compute, alin ba ang dapat niyang i-compute? Okay? So, nakabase po dun sa tag na inilagay ko dun sa aking button, which is true. Okay? So, this is your overloading methods. Happy learning!